Tissue paper daisies are a fun and sweet addition to your collection of tissue paper flowers. So let's get started. To make a tissue paper daisy, you will need white and yellow tissue paper, a green pipe cleaner, scissors, pen or a pencil, something round to trace around about anywhere from four and a half to six inches wide. Here I have a plastic bowl from my kitchen and a quarter also to trace around. With the white tissue paper, you're gonna to wanna to find something round to trace around. So we're gonna set that down on your tissue paper and the tissue paper we're gonna be making about um, six circles is about the right number. That and then cut out the circles. Don't worry about cutting exactly on the line. It's okay if it's a little wavy or if you're off a little bit. It's going to look perfectly fine when you're done. Once we've got our circles cut out, we're going to make the petals. So we're going to fold the whole bundle in half once and then we're going to fold it in half the other way. Okay, and now we're going to cut the daisy petals, which you can just freehand it and it's not important that it's perfect. I'm just going to draw the shape so that you can see. So you're going to start about a half inch from the corner and then you're going to draw slightly outward and up to a tip just like that. Okay, then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, slightly out and round it at the top. Okay, so that's approximately the shape that you're going to be cutting. Again, don't worry if it's not perfect. Mine's certainly not. And last thing I'm going to do is just make a little notch. I'm going to cut toward the fold just on the end of those petals. Okay, so when you unfold, So they want to look something approximately like so. For the center, we want to have about five layers of tissue. A little more or less is fine. And I am going to trace my quarter and cut that out. With the center is I want to make notches all the way around the edge. So I'm just going to make tiny little clips just maybe an eighth of an inch in all the way around. I give those middle petals just a little bit of a frill on it. Now we need to get our stem ready. So you're gonna take your green pipe cleaner and you're gonna take just a scrap of the yellow tissue. This is probably about one inch by one and a half inches approximately. Doesn't need to be exact. Put it right on the edge of my pipe cleaner like so, and I'm gonna leave just a little bit of overhang here. So it's not flush with the edge, I've got just a little bit hanging over. And then I'm going to tightly roll the tissue paper around the edge of that pipe cleaner. We're gonna make a little yellow tip. Now you wanna fold over that loose tissue at the very top and give it one more tight fold so that the tip of your stem looks like this. Now we're going to assemble the flower. So we're going to first put on the yellow center pieces. So to do that, I'm going to take one piece at a time and I'm going to stick the center of the pipe cleaner right through the middle of that center. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the tissue and just squish it up. You're gonna wrinkle it up a little bit. And then you're gonna push it all the way to the top. All right, so we're gonna do that with each piece of the yellow 
sticking the center of the pipe cleaner in the middle, scrunching that petal up and moving it to the top. Once we have the center finished, it's time to put on our white daisy petals. So we're gonna do the same thing again, pushing the pipe cleaner right through the center of one of those petals, but we're not gonna scrunch it up this time. We're just gonna gently move it to the top of the pipe cleaner. Then we're gonna bunch it up just a little bit. Continue with the other petals. got all the petals up to the top you can see how they're not splayed out um, very evenly so we're just going to rotate some of those layers to make a nice even design and just lastly I'm just going to bend those petals up to the middle just a little bit and there we have it. Okay.